Hello fellow Spectech followers and thank you for joining me for Spectech's top 5 favorite video games of all time. My number 3 favorite video game of all time actually isn't one game, it's actually two games put together. It's Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. The reason why I say two games is because Sonic and Knuckles is an expansion pack on Sonic 3. Originally it was going to be one game, but the cartridge was too small to fit both games inside, so they split them up. There's an expansion slot on top of the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge that you can plug in Sonic 3 into, and you get the full game. Both games were originally released in 1994 on the Sega Genesis. It was later then ported to consoles such as the Sega Saturn, the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, PC, Nintendo DS, and Xbox Live. This game is a high-speed 2D platformer and follows the events right after Sonic the Hedgehog 2. For the first time, this game actually uses cutscenes to explain the story. Sonic and Tails have the same story. The Death Egg has fallen on Angel Island and Dr. Eggman plans to steal a magical gem called the Master Emerald. Eggman has also tricked the Guardian, Knuckles the Echidna, to stop Sonic and Tails. Sonic and Tails must stop Robotnik before he gets his hands on the Master Emerald and relaunches the Death Egg. You can also play as Knuckles, which his story takes place after Sonic's. The Death Egg again crashes on Angel Island and Eggman sends a robot called Egg Robo to kill Knuckles. Knuckles must stop Egg Robo and retrieve the Master Emerald. This game is huge. There are 14 stages with two acts each. These levels are actually three times bigger than those found in Sonic 2. The nice thing about these big zones is that the beginning of Act 2 starts where Act 1 left off. I think it's a really cool feature and I wish they had used that in Sonic 4. To mix up the gameplay, there are three special elemental shields in each stage. There's the bubble shield, which lets you breathe underwater, the lightning shield, which absorbs nearby rings, and the fire shield, which protects you from fire. Each shield also protects you from minor projectiles. Also, as a bonus, each character has a second action when they jump. Sonic has a new move called the Insta Shield, which creates an, an invincible shield for a split second. Knuckles can glide and climb on the walls, and he can also break different pathways to go to different places than Sonic and Tails. Tails can fly, which helps him reach higher areas and special bonuses. To get to this special stage, all you have to do is find a hidden giant ring and jump into it. And the special stages are different in that they're an entire, in an entirely 3D environment. All you have to do is collect blue spheres and avoid touching the red ones. Once you touch a red one, you're kicked out of the special stage. Not only are there seven chaos symbols, but there are even seven super emeralds that you can get only after getting the chaos symbols. These super emeralds allow you to transform into hypersonic, hyper knuckles, and super tails. Not only are there special stages, but there are even bonus stages. Once you pass a star post, depending on how many rings you have, you can enter either a pinball machine, a slot machine, or a magnetic orb machine to collect more rings. This game is really fun and it's my favorite in the entire series. A really cool little known fact is that Michael Jackson actually created some of the music for Sonic 3. He's not really credited for it because Michael Jackson actually didn't like his own music because of the sound card in the Sega Genesis. Well, thanks for joining me, Spectac followers. I hope you enjoyed this video and come back to see my number two favorite video.